Welcome everyone to this prayer service. Let us pray together. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father God, we thank you for this moment, the gift of life. Jesus Master, have mercy on us. Spirit of God, guide us to the truth. Amen. Dear loving children of God, let us thank God for God's mercy and God's abundance, blessings upon each one of us this moment and upon our family. We offer what we are going through right now, our own brokenness and burdens. Today we are going to reflect about betrayal and denial. So if any one of you are going through any kind of rejections or abandonment, any kind of betrayal in life, whatever this may be, the life circumstances or the wounds or the hurt in life, offer all the brokenness of your personal life, whatever that's really concerning your worries or anxieties. Remember all the members of our families, take their names, submit and surrender the totality of our family and our personal life Prepare ourselves to do the surrender prayer in a right manner with a total trust in Jesus. Hide me in your holy wounds today. Lessen my desires to be known. Cut short my desire to be loved. Uproot the evil desires within me and the powers of evil coming against me today. Help me to live according to your holy will. Fill my heart with your love. Loving God, I surrender my mind, my heart, and my body. Use it for your eternal glory. I surrender every single child of yours who is struggling just like me. Wash and immerse us into the ocean of precious blood of Jesus and fill us with the Holy Spirit. Let us witness your love on the earth. Amen. <clears throat> Let us read God's word, Gospel of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 74 and 75. Then he began to curse and soar on oath. I do not know the man. At that moment, the cock crowed. Then Peter remembered what Jesus had said before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear loving children of God, even though we have uh, completed our passion and crucifixion and the death of those narratives, even though we are on Easter Tuesday, but our uh, chapter for us to reflect is about betrayal and denial, betrayal of Judas and the denial of Peter. So I'm not going into any of the details. What I want to share this with you, our flesh is really weak and vulnerable because we know what St. Peter, one, what Peter said to Jesus. Jesus straight away spoke to him that you are going to deny me. Peter, with all confidence, with all courage, with the full conviction, he said to Jesus, I will not deny you. I'm not going to deny you even though I lose my life. And now what happened? What happened? The chapter that we have read, you know, we have to understand three levels. First, he lied, just a simple lie. And then he said an oath, a pledge to lie, oath to lie. And then third, he cursed, he cursed Jesus. First, a simple lie. And second, he took an oath to lie. And then third, he cursed. 
this is the different levels. What I want to try to speak to you, sisters and brothers, betrayal, denial, this, these are, or this is the part of my life and your life. The world crucified God. The world persecuted Jesus. The world abandoned and denied and betrayed Jesus. The same thing will happen to us. The same thing will happen to us. So when a person betrayed you or denied you, that doesn't mean that a person is good or bad. So don't look at the other person. Instead, what we can do, if you are going through betrayal, if you are going through denial or rejections or abandonment, first of all, my humble sharing with you, please do understand this is the vulnerability of the flesh. You can't blame any person who betray you, any person who deny you. So we are not excusing this. We are not uh, uh, supporting betrayal and denial now. But we are trying to fix the problem. How can I fix the problem? When I am going through betrayal, when I am going through denial, when I am going through abandonment and real uh, real rejections in my life, how, I, how can I fix this? I can fix this understand the reality, acknowledge this. What I need to acknowledge, this is the part of human vulnerabilities. People changes. People, when I say people, we are included. We change a perspective, our understanding through our own life experiences. Through our life experiences. So when, you, when, I, am, when, I, am, when I received this denial and betrayal, there are two, three things what we can do. First thing, understand this is the part of human flesh. Second, so many people are going through the same uh, rejections and abandonment and betrayal and denial in life, just like Jesus. And the third, do not keep enmity, hatred, anger towards the person who denied you, towards the person who abandoned you. Sometimes you may ask me, is it possible? My suggestion, try. My suggestion to everyone, try. Don't keep anything against the person who betray you. And not only that, wish. Wish and pray good of that person. Wish and pray good for that person who denied you, who, who betrayed you. And because of that person, you are in this particular circumstances, whatever. So this is the best way to come out of it. Sisters and brothers, realize it's not only somebody. We denied some people. We abandoned. We rejected. We betrayed. Maybe we, we do not know about this. We are ignorant about this. Sometimes we did deliberately whatever. Betrayal, denial, part of human flesh that is vulnerable, weak, and helplessness. Let us come over. That's why today we are praying for spiritual maturity. That's our intention, having spiritual maturity. <clears throat> thank you for, thank you, Father, for this help. A humble prayer, enlighten a mind with the truth. Inflame a heart with your love. Enrich a life with more and more service. Lord, bless us with your wisdom. We pray, help us to practice genuine love, which unites everyone together in Christ Jesus. Give us this day the grace to live now, as you intend, dear God, to smile even when a burden seem heavy, a heart seem broken. Let us be charitable and humble in humiliation and in all our inconveniences. Above all, O merciful Father, let us suffer without regret for your holy will. Amen. <clears throat> Sisters and brothers, we offer our vulnerabilities, our nothingness and our weaknesses, especially all the repeated sins. Let's pray to God for deliverance. Son of God came to the world to destroy evil and the works of devil. I've given you authority to tread on snakes and scorpions and over all the powers of the world. Nothing shall harm you. They have conquered evil by the blood of the Lamb. I have come so that you may have life and life in abundance. I, your servant, 
exercising the priestly ministry in the most holy name of Jesus, asking God's deliverance upon his children right now. Father God, we believe and profess that you are all-powerful and almighty God. You always listen to the prayers of your children. We surrender the totality of our life today, asking your healing hand upon our body and soul. Let there be healing in the name of Jesus Christ. I command in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. All the evil powers that troubles and disturbs us by the merit and the power of the most precious body and blood of Christ. Let those evil powers move into the foot of the cross of Jesus of Nazareth. Never come back to us again. I'm the child of the Father. I'm the body of Jesus Christ. I'm the temple of the Holy Spirit. I belong to heaven. Evil, you have no right and authority over me. Amen. <coughs> <coughs> sorry let us pray together for world peace praying for peace in our own hearts in the families among uh, in our neighborhood the people whom we meet today the peace of christ overshadow us let's pray for world peace for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world a father who art in heaven allowed to be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. We remember all the departed members of our families and all the souls in purgatory. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, I love you, save souls. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. We remember <clears throat> people who are away from God, maybe from our own families, who are away from sacraments and who reject and deny God, especially some of them uh, speak all rubbish and ill about the church and the people of God. Lord, have mercy on them. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Let's claim Psalm 91, assurance of God's protection and providence upon each one of us throughout this day. Amen. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Make me a channel of your grace. We pray, Sacred Heart of Jesus, Immaculate Heart of Mary, I consecrate my life to the most holy love of your two hearts. Keep me faithful until death. Bring me one day to the happy home in heaven that I enjoy with the triune God forever and ever. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Vincent Depaul, pray for us. St. Mary Markle, pray for us. St. Michael, God, and protect us, our guardian angels, guard us. We pray together, Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like unto thine. Offer all our intentions, especially for a spiritual maturity of our personal life. That's the intention of this prayer channel, to attain spiritual maturity, having a mature spiritual thought and mature faith. Lord, I'm not worthy of you. But in the abundance of your love and your mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. <clears throat> o sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Heavenly Father, I offer all your children who are waiting to receive your blessing this moment. Among them, those who are sick, those who are going for operation this morning. All the cancer patients, heart patients, people are really struggling on their hospital bed. Those who are going through physical excruciating pain on their body. Those who are going through different mental agonies. 
those who are sad today, those who are disappointed today, those who are really broken in relationship today, those who are crying at this moment, those who are really worried about their life and their health now, those who are really anxious about their children, and those who are really jobless and thinking what to do. Lord, in your name I bless your children, all their intentions, especially all the young adults. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. <clears throat> Sisters and brothers, today's our Bible reading, Gospel of Matthew chapter 27. Gospel of Matthew chapter 27. Um, um, so many people uh, replied to, to uh, my email saying yesterday's reflection, yesterday's prayer service. That is really an inspiration to share what I shared yesterday. So uh, this is if this is really helpful, make sure that we share and we share through WhatsApp or social media, whatever. And I really appreciate those who have time for responding to the prayer intentions. Those who are making beautiful reflections. And I remind you once again, gently read Bible, especially we are in the New Testament. Read Bible, especially uh, one chapter a day and recited 20 Hail Marys for hundreds of prayer intention in this channel. Have a blessed day, sisters and brothers.